Introducing Alon, an advanced normothermia system by Belmont Medical Technologies. Alon is designed to maintain patient body temperature as determined by the physician throughout all stages of the perioperative continuum. Used by top cardiac centers, Alon reliably maintains consistent patient temperature during surgical procedures. It has uniquely designed body-shaped thermo-wrap garments that provide ideal body surface coverage and surgical access. Unlike convective forced air warming, Alon's level of precision and normothermia maintenance reduces the need for post-operative warming. And because normothermic patients can be extubated sooner, Alon helps fast-track patients to the PACU. Alon offers several key benefits for improved patient care. Since the Alon Thermo Wrap is already warm before the patient arrives, patients are warmed while they're being prepped for surgery, even before the induction of anesthesia. While forced air warming methods are known to warm the whole operating room, a big advantage of Alon is that it effectively warms the patient without warming the OR. Thermowrap is offered in multiple configurations to accommodate varied surgical procedures and patients of different sizes. The cardiac wrap provides surgical access to the entire torso, while adult and pediatric universal wraps provide more surface area coverage. Infant thermowraps cover the baby's head to reduce heat loss. All thermowraps can be adjusted and positioned as needed for the appropriate surgical procedure. And only one thermal wrap is used per patient for the entire perioperative continuum. Many warming systems chase the patient's set point temperature. That's not the case with the Alon system. It maintains a consistent temperature throughout the perioperative continuum of care. Let's review why it's so important to prevent hypothermia during surgery and show you how Alon successfully maintains normal body temperatures during surgical procedures. Intraoperative hypothermia is common due to the body's response to anesthesia, as well as the operating room temperature, patient anxiety, and the lack of patient clothing. Even mild hypothermia can result in negative outcomes, including an increased risk of wound infection, increased likelihood of cardiac events, impaired coagulation, and impaired immune function. Perioperative warming has been associated with a reduction in perioperative complications as shown here. Recent guidelines call for active warming throughout the intraoperative phase and that patients be warmed from the induction of anesthesia for procedures over 30 minutes. Forced air warming is the most popular method of active warming today, but it's not the most effective. In fact, Hypothermia often persists even when patients are warmed with forced air. Intraoperative hypothermia was found to be common and often prolonged in a study reviewing intraoperative core temperature patterns in nearly 40,000 patients warmed with forced air. Alon has been shown to achieve normothermia more consistently than routine forced air warming methods in transplant surgeries, open-heart surgeries such as cabbages, other cardiac procedures, such as TAVRs, and hypothermic burn patients. Studies where Alon has been used have documented shorter time to extubation with Alon as compared with forced air warming. Let's review the basic operation of Alon. First, choose the appropriate thermo wrap for the procedure according to the patient's size and type of surgery. We provide adult, pediatric, and infant thermo wraps in different sizes, as well as a specialized cardiac wrap for cardiac surgeries. Open the wrap on the bed with the lot and model number face up and at the head of the bed. The tubes at the end of the wrap should hang off three to four inches to prevent water obstruction. Confirm that the clamps are open to allow the water to circulate. Connect the hoses to the machine on one end by connecting metal to metal. Listen for the click. It doesn't matter which end goes where, though you can see water in and water out are noted by the green and gray arrows on the device. Next, connect the wrap to the other end of the hoses, connecting plastic to plastic. Listen for an audible click each time. Using only sterile or 0.22 micron filtered water, 
remove the gray cap and fill the water tank. Make sure the water line falls in between the two red lines. A full tank has six liters of water. Now that the wrap is connected, turn the machine on. The system initiates a self-test. It will take a few minutes to assure the system's safety. When finished, Alon automatically begins preheating the water. It is recommended that you turn the machine on prior to the patient's arrival to allow the water in the garment to warm up. When preheating is complete, the thermo wrap fills with water automatically. When the wrap is filled, it will already be warm and the patient can be positioned on the wrap. Be sure to note the proper placement of the shoulders on the wrap. Now you can prepare the core and surface temperature probes. In the default normothermia mode, Alon relies on constant patient temperature feedback from both core and skin probes to maintain normothermia. Core temperature can be measured by esophageal or rectal temperature. Connect the temperature adapter cables or probes to the device, matching colors, gray for core, green for surface. Connect the probes to the patient and to the adapter cable if using a disposable temperature probe. Secure the wrap on the patient loosely, making sure to leave one finger breath between the wrap and the patient. The default patient target temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. The system will reach the desired temperature and maintain it for as long as needed. A manual mode is also available, which allows for setting the water temperature rather than the patient temperature. By default, the water will be warmed up to 38.5 degrees Celsius in manual mode. Let's go over the control panel screen. Patient core temperature, surface temperature, and set point temperature appear in the center of the screen. At the top are the circulation icon, which shows that water is flowing through the wrap, as well as the duration of treatment, the mode of operation, and the main menu icon. Icons for the temperature graph and the set point selection appear on the right. By touching the menu icon, you can choose the different options and settings you want. To adjust the set point of the patient, Press the set point key. You can choose a patient's set point from 30 to 40 degrees Celsius in 1 or 0.1 degree increments. If you wish to temporarily stop thermal regulation or water flow, put a lawn into standby mode by pressing menu and then standby. To exit standby mode and continue regulating temperature, choose menu, then operate. Water will begin filling the wrap. In case of a problem, an alarm will be triggered and an error message will appear on the screen, guiding you as to what needs to be done. Addressing the issue will remove the message. Press Menu and then Settings to access the menu. Alarm limits and other preferences can be set in Settings. When you finish using Alon, drop NADCC into the 6.0 liter, 1.6 gallon water tank as per the NADCC manufacturer's instructions and run the machine for 30 minutes. If Alon is used three or more times per week, empty the tank once a week. If used less frequently, drain after each use. To empty Alon, Insert the draining connector into the water out on the plastic end of the hoses and aim the draining connector into a sink or bucket. Navigate to the service screen and then press empty. Press start when you're ready to begin. Alon will inform you when it has completed the emptying cycle. For further details, please refer to the user manual. Contact us by phone or on the web. This segment introduces you to an optional accessory called the Temperature Splitter, which can be used with both Alon and Criticool and shows you how to set it up. The Temperature Splitter allows you to share the patient's core temperature from your Belmont Temperature Management System with an external monitor. The Temperature Splitter has three quarter-inch mono plug connectors for inputs. Let's review how to set up the Temperature Splitter. First, connect a patient's core adapter cable to the temp-in input at the top. Now, connect the disposable core probe and insert the probe into your patient. Now, we'll connect to the external monitor using the temp out one side. Depending on your monitor type, you may need additional cables. For some, it's possible to use a temp out adapter cable connected to another core adapter cable. 
Next, connect to the Elan or Critical by repeating what we just did, but on the other side, this time using Temp Out 2. Finally, connect to a power source. Now the patient's core temperature will be shared with your external device. For additional information, refer to the user manual or contact technical support. Thank you for using Elan.